Let's install here in Steam Deck OLED a 2TB SSD. Here it is, 2230 format. I have a very good um, SSD here, a Seagate um, model 520N SSD. So 2TB, incredible, uh, incredible speeds and a very good uh, and very good capabilities for heat dissipation. So first of all, we have to make sure that we don't have a micro SD card here inserted. So make sure that you eject the SD card. After that, uh, enter uh, in BIOS mode here on Steam Deck OLED. And my advice, put the battery in, um, in um, um, we have here uh, a service mode, I believe it's called. So we have uh, set up utility and um, let's go to advanced. Sorry, to, to battery, here it is. Um, and we have a battery storage mode. What does it mean? Well, the battery will enter in uh, storage mode and you will be able after that to start the Steam Deck only by inserting the power cable. If you press the on off button, it won't start. So this is it basically. Um, press yes and wait for it to shut down. After that, let's make sure that we have everything here. So this is it. We have to extract all these uh, screws here. So make sure that you have the proper tools to, to do this and start the operation. Another advice, put these, uh, put these uh, screws in, um, in order because as far as I remember, they are, uh, they are different. So it's important to keep it in this format. So let's see. So uh, here they are, eight uh, pieces. It seems that they are the same, they have the same length. Uh, anyway, I have them in order to put them as they were. Um, after that, you will need, um, you will need uh, something like this to, to open uh, the Steam Deck, or I, uh, I'm using also from a SIM card. Uh, this, this plastic, it's also very good to open uh, devices like this one. As far as I uh, as I saw, you have to start here from uh, from this edge, like like this. Make sure that uh, Steam Deck is off, okay. And you have to start from here. Look, you you will you will hear uh, a sound like this. Also, um, start from here. You don't have to, to be fast, take your time and open it. So I'll take it right here and I will try to, to insert basically the plastic here and you have to open basically everything around. You will know that you are on the good um, route when you will see something uh, like this. Look, it's opening and we will start here on the edge, like, like this. And I believe this is it. Let's see. Yes. Well, and now we have to disconnect the battery cable. Here it is. I believe it's done. 
already. And now we have uh, this uh, this uh, this band here. In some uh, reviews, uh, they uh, removed the band and also extracted extracted from here in order to to remove this um, uh, this metal part here. So uh, let's try to to do this. So um, you have two options, you either extract this uh, band from here and unpeel it from here, as you see it's, uh, it's thick here, um, and you have two screws, one here and another one here. You have to remove them also in order to access your SSD. Let's see, um, let's see what happens if I remove these two. Because um, as far as I see, this SSD, it's very, um, this band, it's very, uh, very sticky here. Probably I will remove it. So I will use something like this to, to extract it from here. So here it is. I um I removed this one like this. Very very easy. I prefer to not not to extract it from here because it's a very very small um it's a very small connector. And also be very careful. You have this cable also attached here, as you see. So you have to, to remove it. Here it is. And now we have the SSD here. We can uh, we can extract it. This is it. You have uh, a heat uh, protection around it. Just take it out. Here it is, Kingston. Let's put this one here. Let's put this protection back like this and you have to insert it in this way. So make sure that you put it very easy here. It's inserted. You put back the screw. Okay, at this point we have to make sure that we connect the battery back. So use your fingers like this and um, so I just used my, my fingers, my finger basically to, to insert the battery uh, at its place and now we have to put this metallic to uh, back here so here it is make sure that you you put uh, this cable also you stick it here because it has um, it it has a small uh, adhesive tape on it as far as i remember uh, this is some kind of microphone stick it here um, let's put back these two screws one here and another one back here at the top and at this point just press this band like this ok 
Okay. And now um, let's put the, the back plate on it and let's try to start it. After that, you will need to have um, the SteamOS on a USB stick. You have, uh, you have tutorial how to do it on, um, on, uh, uh, on a Valve uh, website. Basically, download uh, the SteamOS from there, and you make this uh, this stick with their software. It's everything over there. So let's try uh, let's try the Steam Deck at this point. Let's put this case. Basically, we have to press around here until we hear some clicks. This is it. It's all good. And now we have to check if everything works. In order to do that, we need the power cable. As I said, we have to, to insert the power cable here. And let's press the power button and let's see. Here it is. Now let's wait. Everything works. And we should have this um, this error on the screen. Let's take a USB uh, drive and let's insert it. And let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, sorry, when you go uh, here to, um, uh, to BIOS, go to um, uh, Boot Manager. And here we have um, our USB drive. Press OK and wait uh, for whatever happens on the screen. Press whatever asks here. Uh, but first of all, you have to, um, to install basically, I believe we sh should have uh, the possibility to choose how to install the SteamOS. Uh, I'm not pretty sure it will happen in this way, but let's wait and let's see what happens. So after a few minutes, you should have this screen. Before this one, I got some, um, uh, I got a message on the screen. Just press on it, next, 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 or you have a skip button and this is it after uh, all of this you have to go here to uh, ray uh, ray image steam deck this is it and um, click on it and just wait um, after uh, after this operation you should see um, you should have basically the steam os installed press proceed and uh, follow the steps Okay, in the end uh, of this video, I will show you how to create also uh, the bootable USB drive. I will, um, I will show you, you will need basically a Windows, uh, uh, a PC basically, a Windows device to create um, uh, that stick. Also, it works on other operating systems. Uh, they, have, um, they have tutorial on their website. I will show you how to create a, a bootable USB drive on Windows. So after a few minutes, two or three minutes, you should see uh, your device finishing the process. This is it. You've done it. It's uh, it's basically the new SSD with a new uh, SteamOS on it. After that, we will see here um, uh, the SteamOS uh, logo and the main interface to uh, basically to configure your device and to set up your device like uh, a usual Steam Deck. 
So this is it. As I said, um, immediately in the end of this video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB um, drive with SteamOS on it. Here it is. At this point, um, the device um, restarts and we should see here on the screen uh, uh, the main uh, interface. Don't forget to put this back to your Steam Deck and uh, basically this is it Immedi immediately i will show you also the capacity two terabytes as i said you should see this um this display at this point you can go to set up your device you can extract the uh, um, usb drive and uh, this is it let's uh, let's set up this and let's see it so let me show you how to create uh, a bootable USB drive. Uh, so you will need, um, as they say here, at help steampowered.com, basically on uh, Steam. You will need um, at least eight gigabytes. So here it is, I have another, uh, another uh, USB uh, drive inserted here. And uh, at this point, they, um, they have here the utility that you will use it rufus utility download their um, uh, recovery image from here and once you once you have this basically um, you will uh, you will have um, you will have here uh, your usb uh, drive press select select uh, the archive uh, that you downloaded previously press open and after that just press start and just wait the process to be finished and after that you will have a bootable uh, usb drive with steam os on it to use it now let's go back to steam deck because it's almost ready and to see uh, to see the new ssd inside of it so here it is, um, if we go to settings, um, storage, now we have 1.8 terabyte, uh, terabytes free uh, for games. So uh, here it is, the new SSD uh, inside the uh, Steam Deck OLED. I would say a great, uh, great decision, uh, especially for, uh, for games. Here it is. This is uh, this is what I used, and it's one uh, one of the best. So at this point, basically, uh, I have uh, one point eight terabytes uh, on SSD, huge storage, fast, uh, very fast speeds, and uh, if I add also um, this micro SD card, one terabyte, basically, I will have um, almost three terabytes on this device and let's say that i want even more if i add this one two or four uh, terabytes that's insane it's uh, it's insane so this is it i uh, i hope it's very helpful for you uh, this tutorial please like share subscribe it really helps here thanks for being here